what will happen if they had no rules in your school? Children could come to school whenever they liked. Teachers could hold classes whenever they liked. On some days, there would be no break because someone forgot to ring the bell. On some days, school would continue until late in the evening. In this case, would your school work well? Why? Just as a school needs rules to run well, a country needs rules too. These are called laws. The fundamental laws for governing India are in the Constitution of India. Let us learn about the Constitution of India. Class 5 Social Studies When the British ruled India, they made the laws for India. The freedom struggle eventually gave India independence from British rule. Just before independence in 1946, a special assembly, called the Constituents' Assembly was formed. Its main task was, to create a constitution, which would have laws for the people of independent India. It had men, and women, from all over India, and all walks of life, doctors, lawyers, teachers, business people, farmers, and many others. They discussed each part, each line, and each word, of the new constitution. They took nearly three years to complete this work, but eventually they created an excellent constitution of the new India. The writing of the constitution based on the discussion in the Constituents' Assembly was a very important task. It had given to a committee that had seven members. Dr. B. R. Rambedkar was the chairman of this committee. India began to follow the new constitution from the 26th of January 1950. This is why we celebrate Republic Day on the 26th of January every year. Some important parts of the constitution are preamble, the directive principles, and the fundamental rights and duties. Let us learn more on this. The word preamble means an introduction. The preamble to the Indian constitution has wonderful words. They tell us what kind of country the constituents assembly wanted India to be. This is why we need to understand the preamble well. This is what is written in the preamble of India. Let us see the meanings of the beautiful words of the preamble. We all the people of India big or small, rich or poor, of every region and religion, have decided to make India into the following. An independent country. No other country would rule over us. The wealth of the country should be shared by all Indian people, so that everyone has the things she or he needs, like food, shelter, and clothing. Where there's no official religion, and the government does not give more importance to one religion over any other, in our country of numerous religions all people are free to have, whatever religious belief they like. A government elected by the people where a king, or a queen, will not be the head of the country, the head will be a president. A republic. To make sure that all Indian citizens get fair treatment, all people should have a fair chance to earn their living, and all people should be able to vote freely. Freedom to speak without fear, to think what they please, to believe in what they like, to practice whatever religion they like without being afraid. But none of these things should harm anyone. An equal and fair opportunity, whether rich or poor, men or women, or whatever region or religion, to have good lives. And make sure all the Indians try to live like brothers and sisters, all people should be treated with respect. 
the country should remain united, whole, and unharmed. To make sure that the ideas of the preamble are put into practice, the constitution has guidelines, or instructions to help governments. These are called directive principles of state policy. They help governments to decide what their policies, plan of action, should be. They also help judges to understand what the constitution makers wanted for India. There are several directive principles. The directive principles are not laws. They are only guidelines. Let us have a look on some directive principles. India has great diversity in its population. The men, women, and children of India are rich and poor, speak numerous different languages, belong to many different castes and religions, and also live in various different regions. Our constitution gives to all these citizens six fundamental rights. The word fundamental means essential and most important. A right is something that you must have. Here are some important aspects of these six fundamental rights. Right to equality. All the citizens are equal before the law. No difference should be made between men and women, rich and poor, or between people who belong to different religions, castes, or regions. Untouchability is abolished, and practicing it, is forbidden. Right to freedom Freedom of speech and expression People are free to speak or to express themselves through literature, art or drama. But this should not be hurtful to others. Protection of person's life, and freedom Right against exploitation Exploitation means, to treat someone unfairly, especially making people work for no money, or very little money. No child below the age of 14 years should be employed in any place that may be dangerous to health. No one can force people to work without payment or for very little payment. Right to freedom of religion Citizens are free to follow any religion that they wish to. They are also free to talk about their religion. Cultural and Educational Rights Culture means a community's traditional way of doing things, their dress and food, their art, music, dance and literature, their language, and their religion. Every community has the right to preserve, protect and develop its own culture. Interests of citizens belong to minority groups, including their right to set up schools, and colleges are protected. Right to Constitutional Remedies Though the Constitution guarantees the fundamental rights to all citizens, we should not exercise our rights in such a way that the rights of other people are disregarded. This right allows citizens to go to court if any of the other fundamental rights are being taken away in any manner. Fundamental duties are the duties of Indian citizens towards their country. To respect the constitution, the national flag, and the national anthem. To promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India. To value and preserve the rich heritage of our entire culture. To protect and improve the natural environment including, forests, lakes, rivers, and wildlife, and to have compassion for living creatures. To safeguard public property and to avoid violence. The members of the Constituents Assembly had a dream about what kinds of country India should become. It took three years to turn those dreams into India's main laws. The Indian Constitution is considered by many people to be one of the best in the world. Thank you for watching.
please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated your comments and suggestions are valuable to us